Life for me right now is hectic, and I don't see an end in sight anytime soon. My oldest daughter is three years old, my youngest daughter is 18 months old, and we've got another baby on the way. My 18-month-old has an internal wake-up time of somewhere between 4.45 and 5.30 a.m. And because I am such a selfless husband, I get up with her. Our kids have started preschool two times a week, gymnastics, playtime, dinner, bath. It's nonstop. Most nights, me and my wife, who is a stay-at-home mom and is the real superhero in the story, we collapse on the couch after the girls are down, look at each other, take a deep breath, laugh, and finally catch our breath. To be clear, I love my life, and I wouldn't change a thing about it. But being a dad, and a husband, and a pastor takes it out of me, and I know I'm not alone. You get it. Well, in order for me and you to stay sane and healthy, I've learned that I have to be intentional about building timeouts into my routine. And by timeout, I mean a break from the daily grind of life, specifically to reflect, to remember, and to refocus to reflect on what God has done in my life, to remember who I am and whose I am, and to refocus on where I'm headed and who I am becoming. In the book of Colossians, the Apostle Paul is writing to a community of believers about the supremacy of Christ, and in chapter 2 he encourages them to continue to live their lives in Jesus, rooted and built up in Him, strengthened in the faith, and overflowing with thankfulness. I read these verses and I read these words that are the opposite of being thrown around by the craziness and the speed of life. Rooted in Christ, not in my own kingdom. Built up in Christ, not in others' opinions or expectations of me. Strengthened in the faith, not thrown around by my circumstances. And slowing down long enough to overflow with thankfulness for what God has done. So maybe today, tomorrow morning, on your drive into work, Maybe right now for the next few minutes, you take a time out to reflect on the faithfulness of God in your life. Process, write down, and verbalize that which you are thankful for. And then take time to remember that no matter what happens or what anyone says, in Christ, you are a son and a daughter of God. That's based on His love and not your performance. And then refocus. Is your life prioritized in such a way that you're becoming more like Jesus? My mind, my heart, and my soul, and my faith are stronger when I choose to take these timeouts to reflect, remember, and refocus. And my hope is that the same would be true.